hey, hey, hey there. Hey, friends, you know, are you to get your enrollment back to where the numbers were pre-COVID? And because today I wanted to share one of my super secret ninja to use for leads and enrollment without being a salesy weirdo because y'all there's nothing worse than that and plus today I'm gonna have my good friend Samara on and we are gonna be talking about work-life balance <laughs> and harmony and how can we create harmony amongst the chaos right and so I want us to have fun I want us to have fun. So I need you to give us the likes. I need the hearts. We need to see the love and we need your comments. We need to know what you're thinking about this. And if you have those aha moments, even if you're coming back in on the replay, I know you come in and watch these afterwards. And so let us know. We want to be able to join with you as well. Um, I'm going to be giving away show notes today um, from this episode. So with all the detail enrollment strategy that we're going to talk about. So if you would like to get access to those in the comments below, type ninja. <laughs> Let's use that word. Let's type ninja below and me and my team will make sure that you get the show notes from today so you have exactly what you need to make this sales strategy work for you without being a salesy weirdo. If you're new here, I am Erin Bird. I'm your hostess with the mostest, and I am the author of the Passion and Profit Project, as well as the creator of the 100K Mobile Studio Blueprint Workshop, the Hit List Marketing System, the Mobile Mastermind, and I am so lucky because I get to work with amazing clients who are wanting to grow their business without having crazy burnout and doing all the things, which it's I'm super lucky it's actually, let's just dive into that because we're going to go ahead and talk about work-life balance today. And so <laughs> I'm going to bring my girl on. I'm going to bring Samara on. Um, and because you guys, she absolutely is amazing. You guys have to know her. She has been in the game for, you know, over 20 years um, as well. She is oh my gosh a mama of the two most adorable boys i just want to squeeze their faces <laughs> i do i'm like i just want to squeeze their cheeks um they are so adorable but she is an absolute rock star she um has been in our industry a long time and she also runs more than one business y'all so she knows a little bit something about trying to find this whole work life balance <laughs> right and I always get balance in quotes because you know I have strong feelings about that and we talk about that but I'm going to turn it over to you for just a moment let you introduce yourself and then let's just dive right in let's just well, dive right in first of all thank you Aaron for inviting me um to be on your show I'm so excited for all that you have going on, you know, I believe in passion and profit and I believe in mobile dance. So thank you so much for allowing me to be a part of um, your, your circle and your audience today. And um, my name is Samar Michelle Days. I, Aaron gave me a wonderful introduction, but I am a um, mobile mobile dance studio owner. My mobile dance studio is nonprofit. And I also own a small business consulting agency. And we specialize in nonprofits and solopreneurs, which are individuals like myself, moms, um, just individuals that want to start a business, whether it's nonprofit or for profit. And so we help streamline that process and um you know get it get it easy and workable for people that don't have time like me <laughs> well you know it's one of those things thank you so much because when we did meet when we first met um you already had launched your own mobile program but you were also running someone else's studio full time and um you know which I don't even want to say it was a full time. It was more than a full time job working with somebody else. And so at that point, did you find it really hard to juggle the two and still 
move forward towards your goals and your dreams? Did you find, I mean, was that hard for you to do both? So, so it was, um, it was excruciating <laughs> and, um, but you know, in, in, you know, hindsight is 2020 and it really, um, is the reason that I learned to streamline my own business because I was working 60, 70 hours at a dance studio and then still had a profitable business on the side. And so I mm -hmm. had to be able to do it in very few hours and with very uh, with not much thought. And I, I don't like to say without a lot of thought, because of course, you know, we have to think about everything, but I had to be able to do it without dealing with um, like day-to-day -day activities. And now that I'm not working full-time, I realized that that's, you know, one of the things that I needed um, to be successful and to be able to balance. So it's interesting, mm -hmm. um, but it, it requires a lot of, um, we all say balance, but it requires a lot of boundaries and it requires a lot of focus. And so, yeah. <laughs> okay. okay. Yeah. Boundaries, y'all. I mean, like we could go in boundaries because the other day I was talking to a studio owner and she was telling me about, you know, all the things that families were doing, these parents were doing. I said, well, you set some boundaries, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> you set some boundaries, right? To make me, this has to be healthy. And so um, we have to set boundaries. But so at what point, what was the turning point that made you decide that you just wanted to like take the leap of faith and go all in on your own business? What, I mean, like what caused that to happen for you? What was the catalyst? So there were a few key things. One, one of the major things was that um, I, my why and my why is about being happy and having time with my family. And that was not, I was not able to reach that why. I, while I was in it, I, I felt like I was, I was happy and, you know, I, I had flexibility, but really, um, I didn't, I didn't have a lot of flexibility. And so mm -hmm. I had to be honest with what my why, what my why is and get back to the real, the mm -hmm. truth of what was happening. Um, mm -hmm. And the truth was that I, mm -hmm. things weren't very flexible. I was, you know, having to take vacation on my phone and on my laptop and I had my phone with me all, at all times. And that's not flexibility. It's actually, um, it's like penitentiary. So, um, <laughs> so you know, um, I had to, I had to really focus in on my why. And then the second catalyst was support. And some of it was, you know, I started with you. <laughs> um, that was kind of my first, um, one of my first really big support moments and realized that, um, mm -hmm you know, if I have support, I can do anything. And so that means that I can move mm -hmm. into a different space. I don't have to work 70 hours a week. Um, mm -hmm. I actually can have real vacation. I actually can get done in a feasible time during the day and like get on the mat and play with my kids. And so mm -hmm. without the phone ringing and without me worrying and having something yeah. hanging over my head. So those were the two things that made me say enough is enough. I have to, you know, be honest about what's happening and I have to make a change mm -hmm. and there is a way to make a change. And so that's what I, I was like, I'm out. <laughs> and I, and, yeah. So, and yeah, you know, I think that it's so important that you mentioned that because it goes back to our big why, and I always talk about it. And I just your big why. I, we don't necessarily need to get into those today, but being honest with yourself is what is it that you really want? And for most of us, for most of us, it's not working sixty hours a week, right? Like, who wants to do that? You know, life is short, and I feel like we're here to live, right? not to necessarily work. We have to work and we love what we do, 
Don't get me wrong, y'all. But there has to be harmony, right? So working these 60 hours, especially for someone else, no thank you, um, <laughs> right? But like working 60 hours a week, that's, um, and not you can just be with me and just be disconnected um, with the business or with you know your employer. Um, for anyone setting up those boundaries and realizing that it's the support that you need. You know, I think for a lot of us, <clears throat> we, we have some goals, we have these big dreams, but we may not know the fastest way to get from A to B. Right. Yeah. And so a lot of that comes with support, right? It's just finding the right person to support you and from getting from A to B someone who's been there, who's done it, who's probably messed up a lot um but you know learn from those mistakes right i mean y'all let's not get into it but i, I failed and i failed publicly many and many times and that's okay i picked myself back up <laughs> moving on right so um i think it's so great that you mentioned that just knowing for yourself that you're big wise you wanted to start a family and you knew that working 60 hours a week for somebody else plus your own business was not going to be the way to do that and yeah. you guys things can i just share things started to fall in line with her as soon as she just made the decision that no more, right? Yeah. Like the moment she said no more, right? She got support. Boom. She had yeah, baby, y'all. I mean, and, and like, Aaron, I, I do want to <laughs> say one thing about, and I know much of your audience is women and I know you talk to women all the time. Yeah. We are not really taught to, um, to not do everything like and especially mm -hmm. women now like we work we take care of the kids mm -hmm. you know we schedule the doctor's appointments mm -hmm. we clean the house we do so many things and we start to feel like support means that we're not like we're not doing what we're supposed to be doing and we have to oh, that we physically have to do it and it's not that's not how it works you know, the goal is to get the things done. My house, yes, my house needs to be clean, but that doesn't mean I need to clean it. It means I need to order the cleaning company. Amen to, to that, come. sister. <laughs> so, <laughs> amen to that, sister. Yeah. If it doesn't bring you joy, y'all, okay, cleaning toilets does not bring me joy. Let's be real, right? It does not. Yeah, you know, it's funny enough. My youngest daughter, Peyton, she's like, can I clean the toilet? I'm like, oh, yeah, I guess. Go for it. But um, yes, we have we have help. And because I would rather spend that time playing Legos. Yeah. Right? Or building things with connects with my kids. Or I would rather spend that time that I would spend cleaning my house, bringing in revenue that pays for that, for someone else to come do it. 20 times over, right? I would rather invest my time in that. And so thank you so much for mentioning that because I do believe that so many times we uh, think we're supposed to do it all, right? And if we yeah. don't do it all, then we're failing. And right? we have a lot of, and we carry really a lot of guilt. Case. We carry a lot of guilt related to that, which is why mm -hmm. sometimes we don't activate and we don't do things because we're like, I don't have time or I can't. And, you know, one of my philosophies mm -hmm. is not like, I just say how, like if I want something done, I say, how am I going to get that done? And what do I need to get that done? Mm -hmm. And so that way there, there's no question on whether I'm going to do it or not. I'm, I'm doing it. I just need to figure out how. <laughs> yes. Wait, hold on. Where are they? Where are they? Hold on. I need this. Hold on. Yes, y'all. Yes. <laughs> we have that fun, right? You know, we have like that fun. Um, thank you for that. Thank you for that. So then what can you say? You know, I mean, I don't want to take up too much of time. She's got multiple businesses going on, y'all. Um, right now, she she still has her mobile program, which is thriving. We talked about, she's like, oh my gosh, this is going really, really well. Um and she's had some amazing results when she did, made the decision that she was going to go all in. And then she's like, okay, this is streamlined. This is good. And her heart felt led to continue serving in a different way. And so um, we always have a lot of people ask, especially in our industry, about nonprofits, about wanting, because we are such a heart-centered community. 
we do we do it because we love it y'all we really do um and so we always want to give back and we always want to see like what can we do and so the nonprofit discussion comes up quite a bit and so um that is something that samara is absolutely an expert in and she's written and received tons of grants um she has her own nonprofit. she's been there she's done it and she's helped others launch their own and so now that you have both businesses going plus your mom and y'all her kids they're little they're still little ones right 18 months and four months <laughs> 18 months and four months y'all ah! i remember those days <laughs> when they were so little can i share you guys my daughter bella it's her 13th birthday today ah! y'all 13 i don't know what i'm gonna do yeah, she's 13 today. Okay, so anywho, I remember those days of the young ones. So she has her plate full. So what can you, do you have any things for you that are like these little juicy nuggets or words of wisdom that you would want to share with other studio owners, teachers, women in business to help create harmony? Because we know that things aren't always gonna be evenly balanced. There's gonna be times where the scales are gonna, you know, definitely tip in the favor of your business and vice versa, tip in the favor of your family, depending on what's going on. So I like to look at it as like, are we creating harmony, <laughs> right? The yin and the yang, it doesn't have to, all, scales are never gonna be equally balanced all the time. So what, do you have any little nuggets that you wanna share with them about that? Oh. So one of my one of my nuggets <laughs> is to be honest with yourself. Be mm -hmm. honest with yourself. You really like we have the honesty. I always say when you when you're at night by yourself, you're getting ready for bed. We have that honesty, and then then we have the honesty mm -hmm. that's on you know that's on Facebook and social media and in front of our parents and you know mm -hmm. our everybody right. So you know you have to be honest with yourself about what you are able to do what you cannot do what your capacity is mm -hmm. it that's where it starts once you get down and dirty and you're really honest with yourself then you can you can start all of those things that people tell you to do like make a list and delegate and so on and so forth mm -hmm. but you can't start that list from a from a dishonest place and not saying that you're meaning to, um, right. but you have to be conscious mm. that this is a problem. Like, for example, currently, I'll be transparent. I'm not cooking. Like, I'm not cooking. My mother-in-law has been cooking for me. And that, that uh, for most women, is like, what? Like... You, you're admitting to your husband's mother that you don't have, like, you don't have time to cook. Like, huh? But I said to myself, I said, self, <laughs> do you want a home cooked me meal for you and your husband to, to function? I have a four month old. I have an 18 month old. We're in a pandemic. I don't have childcare. I can't do everything. Mm -hmm. And that's honest. Therefore, we came up with a plan. We came up with a strategy and it's working. Eventually I'll cook again for our family. I know how to cook, right? And I don't have to be shame about it because, and so that's an example of just mm -hmm. like really being honest with yourself and like really writing down what you need support with mm -hmm. and getting it. Because yeah. that's one of, you know, that's yes. one of the major things. And that rolls into, so that's a personal example. The second example is like, social media i'm not doing social media i'm 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 in my 40s like when i started business there was no social media and keeping up with the trends is like it's it's just absolutely it's become ridiculous to me so i have to have support i mm -hmm. i have i have a marketing company right <laughs> and they are now handling my social media because it's important it drives dollars i know that but I kept trying to do it myself. I kept trying to handle it myself. And I just had to be honest. This isn't good. It's <laughs> not good. <laughs> if you look at my social, it's not good. <laughs> and now my marketing company is going to make it good. And yes. so that my my nuggets are be honest with yourself. Mm -hmm. And then get the support that you need mm -hmm. in the midst of that. 
yes. so that you really, really can reach your goals and reach your why. Because uh -huh. there is always too much to do. There's too much to do. Right. The world is asking too much of us. I mean, <laughs> and it's too much to do. <laughs> right? Oh my gosh, I know. Um, and it's true because we could, you know, we. It's one of those things, you know. They always say like. We all have the same 24 hours a day, you know. You have the same 24 hours a day as Beyonce does. But here's the deal. Beyonce has a staff to make sure that all her shit gets done. She has a team. <laughs> she has a team, right, to make sure that she I mean, gets down, to show up in the world. Down to her look, down to picking out her clothes. She has a 20, she has a team. She has people looking for her clothes when she's not even there. So yeah, we do oh, all have the same 24 right. hours. So we we need to Beyonce this thing and get us a team. <laughs> so, yes, so that we can look bright and bubbly when we go out. <laughs> right. I love it. Right. So we could show up in the world with our gifts and our natural talents yes. and what we do well. Right. And so absolutely. I am so excited because, oh my gosh, in one month, ah, in 30 days. We are going to be together, first of all. Um, yeah, who run the world? Okay, I'm sorry. I'm like, <laughs> I like the one I'm like, um, we're going to be in Orlando together mm -hmm. for the 100K Mobile Studio Workshop. Um, it's October 15th through 17th, it's three days. And Samara, you've been once before, um, even though, see, here's the deal. I love Samara because She's always um, committed to and to learn and to know that there's value in community and support. And so even though she was already one of my clients, she said, I'm going to come to your 100K. I know how long, I mean, I've already launched my, my business, but I want to grow and I want to take away things. And so she's always committed to learning, but she's going to come back. And so she'll be in Orlando with us. And so this kind of actually leads us into the next segment. Um, Slightly, because I've been getting a lot of messages, Samara, from people who, um, studio owners who say, I need to get my enrollment numbers back up to pre-COVID, right? They're really struggling inside their studio spaces, or they may, they're seeing trends, they're seeing an upward, but they're still not quite there yet, or they're like, I'm ready to go to the next level, and I got to do something different, right? So, um... I want to invite each and every one of you to come and join us in Orlando. It's three days of I so much fun. Uh, I have some new things to share with everyone. And I am so excited based upon what we're seeing in our trends in our community. Because let's be real, we are in a different place than we were two years ago. Right? And so what we do in our businesses, we have to shift and we have to adjust right so everyone um if you want more information about the 100k it's erinbergcoaching.com backslash 100k blueprint um and y'all need to be there i only offer it one time a year once a year that i do this workshop in person and samara do you have any takeaways from the 100k that you think are worth the price of the ticket alone i just threw that at you uh. <laughs> There, right. <laughs> I, I could name, I could name, you know, like three or four things that's worth the price of the ticket alone, right? Um, one of one of the biggest things that happened for me wasn't really about the content of the workshop, even though it was content heavy. Um, you know, I, you get into curriculum, you get into marketing and the nuts and bolts, and like a real blueprint for what is supposed to happen. So that is that is mm -hmm. a given. But the other the thing that really um really was good for me was one um being with the other studio owners and the space mm -hmm. that you create to share um ideas and to share experiences and then to give your you know your wealth of knowledge on top of everybody's mm -hmm. specific experience is it's just you know it's paramount because we are all over the country and we all have different experiences and so it's a little different but mm -hmm. I can take you know from another person's you know kind of challenge mm -hmm. and say I'm doing this well and then I what they're winning at I can say 
ooh, let me add that. And then because of your knowledge, Erin, you're able to kind of connect the dots and say, mm. this will, you know, this will work or this won't work because of, and it's so super helpful mm -hmm. that, I mean, I, li I literally can remember the conversations at the top of my season. I went to 100K two, three years ago at this yeah. point. I just looked at my notes before this mm -hmm. season started just to make sure, you know, I was hitting some of those points and things have changed a mm -hmm. lot, but um, they also stay the same. And mm -hmm. and one one thing that has happened during COVID is that some things that did not work before absolutely work now because you couldn't get you couldn't get any virtual anything <laughs> to happen with right. uh, anybody, and now you can. So, so that's an exciting addition mm -hmm. to our our industry. Absolutely. So, you know, I'm I'm excited. I'm excited that it's coming. Um, I'm excited to you know meet meet new studio owners. Yeah. I'm always you know excited to to meet new people and you know be part of the uh, teach preschool dance community mm -hmm. for sure. Thank you, thank you. Well, smart. I want to say a big thank you for coming on, on and sharing with everybody today. It was so good, and I can't wait to see you in just one month at the Will Studio Blueprint Workshop in Orlando. So I'm gonna yeah. let you go, squeeze and love on those babies for and, me. Oh my gosh! And I do want to, I do want to mention one thing that I haven't told you, and I yes. want to tell the tell the community. So I'm really excited because I am launching, you mentioned the nonprofit and our, our, um, <laughs> yeah, um, our community not necessarily knowing what nonprofit is and we're giving and we are community people just by nature. Um, I am launching a, um, a new online course and it's free to begin with and it's called how to profit from your nonprofit and so i'm going to be teaching <laughs> everybody kind of how to how to get the money out of that passion and just because it's called a nonprofit doesn't mean there's no money in it cuz i for sure don't go home with no money so yeah, so, I'm, I'm at samarmichelle.com and that's yes. launching in the next few weeks. So I'll definitely be letting everybody know and yes. telling our preschool dance, teach preschool dance community and everybody else. So Ooh, yeah. we had to sign me up. Okay, so here's the deal, Samara. When you're done, can you come into the comments? and just um put your how they can connect with you? Um that way they can follow sure. you on that social media that you have managed. Um, for you that you can support with and they can follow you there they can get all the details and then of course as soon as that launches yes 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 because that's another thing y'all you hear me preach about it just because it's a nonprofit don't mean you don't make no money y'all <laughs> you got to make money if you are going to be in business <laughs> business I don't care if it's a business, a business. okay so I'm so excited that you're going to bring that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I absolutely adore you. I cannot wait to see you in Orlando. And thank you. And yes, girl, I'm like, love it, sharing with the world. Thank you so much. And go squeeze those babies for I me. I will. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Thank you. All right, my friends. Oh, so good, y'all. So good. But now we need to jump in real quick into <clears throat> y'all leaning in. We need to jump into my super secret ninja trick that we use to create leads and get enrollment without being a salesy weirdo, okay? So we need to lean in. I am going to give you show notes. So if you do want show notes from today, make sure you type in ninja because <laughs> this is my secret ninja strategy type ninja into the comments and me and my team will make sure as soon as they're ready that um we will send them over to you we'll get in a messenger with you and get all your your details and we'll get those for you okay so are y'all ready strategy is working so so well with so many of my studio owners because here's the deal we talked about it a little bit that enrollment be slow 
right? And we might need to be looking at how do we increase, you know, our enrollment. And, and obviously, you can go into preschools, daycares, all that, and that's fantastic. And we'll talk all about that at the 100K. But this is something that you could do specifically for your studio that is working right now. And it might be something that you've heard before, but I have a little twist on it. So I want to make sure that we're talking about it. So how many of you are utilizing mommy Facebook groups for your area? Let me know in the comments. I always want to know. Um, because here's the deal. Okay. Here. Mommy groups. That's what they're there for. <laughs> they're there because they want people to help work them, right? So in your community, there has got to be a Facebook group for moms. So my, we've got like four or five. We've got, you know, Clovis, we've got Fresno Mamas, we've got Fresno Mommy Talk, we've got, right, there's several different mommy book groups where there's thousands of members from my community that are in one place, right? to support one another. And there are times that are like, you know, where should I, what's the best dance studio for my three-year-old? She wants to do dance, right? Now, I laugh when I was because there's lots of different things that make up the experience. But how do we utilize and leverage these Facebook groups without being a weirdo? Because nobody that is like the, the turnoff. When I say sales, a lot of times people look at it and they think of like that ew, icky car salesman. That ain't working for us. And that is mamas, right? So we cannot come into these Facebook groups and be salesy weirdos, y'all. If all you're doing is, it's like posting, I'm having these visuals in my brain, right? But like if we're just posting, posting, Posting sales, come to my studio, come to my studio. First of all, in a lot of those groups, that's not allowed and they're gonna kick you out. Right? So that's number one. So we can't do that. And when you when parents and moms see that, they're like, eh, it feels icky. So we don't want to be that icky, weird, oh salesy person, right? So here's the deal. I want you guys to spend five minutes a day. This does not have to overtake your life. You do not have to live in these Facebook groups, but you do and you should spend just five minutes a day. And we all know y'all are scrolling on Facebook anyway, scrolling on social media anyway. So <laughs> spend five minutes of your day in groups speaking to them, right? being a human to them, offering support and value and resources to them, right? Because here's what happens. When you come in as just a human, as a mom, as a, right, you know, as the fun aunt, I don't know. When you come in as those people and you share resources and you share value, they start to look to you as the expert anyway. And this comes up, what is the best, my little Michelle wants to try ballet or wants to try dance, what's the best school, right? You can come in and then say, well, tell me about Michelle, right? Because you wanna make sure that their values align with your values and your studio is actually what they're looking for, right? So, I always go in and ask the question, well, what experience are you looking for for Michelle? Right? Because, and I say, uh, you know, there's lots of different studios that I could forward you to, but it just depends on what you're looking for. Right? And then I'd say, well, we're looking for ballet. She likes to da 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 da, right? And then you respond, you engage in a conversation. And then if the time is right, then you say, we would love for Michelle to come to a trial class at my studio, ABC studio, da, 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 and I'm going to PM you and we could chat more. Now, that came from a place of being valuable and offering insight 
and being honest and saying, if you told me I'm a ballet school, but you told me Michelle, she does not want to do ballet. She wants to do hip hop, right? Well, trying to get her to come to my studio if no, is not, not going to be the right, right? So I would say, oh my gosh, Michelle's into hip hop. Let me connect you with X, Y, Z, because I think she's going to love it there, right? That shows honesty, integrity. It shows that you're a leader in your community. It shows that you're not worried about competition, right? Show up, be present, be present in the, those posts, and post on things that have nothing to do with dance either, y'all, right? So if a mama comes in there and says, oh my gosh, we need a new pediatrician, and you've partnered with some great pediatricians, you can give your two cents, right? If a mama comes in there and says, oh my gosh, I know this isn't really mommy related, but I'm looking for a place to host my baby shower. Do you know anywhere? Be the resource for your community. Because then what happens is they know you, they like you, and they trust you. And then they refer you. And then they allow you to Post a little bit more, and they might let you come in there and say, hey, we're going to have bring a bestie. Oh, you can leverage these groups that, and let me tell you, from personal client's experience, one post can yield huge results, right? One post can huge yield huge results. Okay, and here I've had someone tell me before, Erin, my community, I don't have one. There's no Facebook group in my community for these mommy groups. They create one, y'all, and then you get to dictate the content. Even better, right? Then you get to dictate that, but don't be a salesy weirdo. Facebook groups are for community, right? Teach preschool dance, it's here, it's for community. We like to give value. We obviously want to tell you about shops and resources that are available for you, right? But Facebook groups are for community, but they are a fantastic leverage and to create leads and sales and conversions and to um, let your community know about what's going on and what they can participate in and how you're giving back, right? So. Make sure when you read the Facebook rules, the group rules, and you abide by them, right? If there's something you're questioning, then it's probably you shouldn't post it. Or reach out to an admin. Send them a message and say, hey, we're having this open class week. Would you mind if I posted in the group about it, right? Make sure you're getting permission if it's on, on the edge and you're not sure. Some of these groups have specific days that you can post. So let me tell you, my team, they know, they, we, they have a list. They know what days they can go in and post in certain groups, those salesy posts. It's permissible, right? Now, here's another little trick, right? You lean it in. This is kind of like a bonus, if you will. Okay. It's, you can, you know, there's a search in, in Facebook groups, in Facebook, but in Facebook groups, and you could search things that are relevant. So maybe you search boxes, and you could see all the posts that have posted, that, right? And you can come back in and post in them and comment and make them relevant to get the dance. Hey, da, 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 right? You can in these conversations. Maybe they happened two weeks ago, and you could see if anybody, if everybody found their dance home, or if they still need a place to try, right? Re-engage, bring them back up, but use that search function. Okay, y'all leaning in? Here is my super secret bonus tip. We all have business, or you should have a business bestie, or two, or three, right? And Facebook groups are such a great place to um, do, you know, utilize for market research, 
You could do polls in them, right? There's so many great things that you could do in Facebook groups. And it is literally your pool of potential buyers, of potential clients that you can use and engage them in a way that doesn't seem salesy, but it's allowing you to get the information that you need directly from the horse's mouth y'all so utilize polls utilize that but here's the deal <clears throat> i have a couple facebook social media business besties and we love to help each other out we do and so sometimes one of my besties might go in let's just say they might go into one of those mama's groups and they might know that i need to fill a boys hip-hop class let's just say and they might post that question in the group hey friends where do i find a good boys only hip pop class they come in and open the conversation but i'm not the one who's posting hey enroll in my boys hip hop class yeah right so i have a friend who has a beautiful bakery and she is fun when it comes to pastries and cakes and whatnot. And so I post in those groups, hey, hey moms, it's Bella's 13th birthday is coming, her party's coming up and oh my gosh, I need a cake, where do I go? Y'all, help each other out. Open up the conversations, right? It's so simple, it doesn't take us very long. This is how we grow together and we rise up together and we open conversations up. So that, my friend, is a super secret, secret tip that I'm sharing with you. Social media besties, who you guys can help each other out so you don't have to be a salesy weirdo inside these Facebook groups, yes? Oh my gosh, <sighs> y'all. Y'all, if you want the show notes, you guys, type in Ninja and we will get those for you. Type Ninja in the comments. I see some coming up there. Yes, 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 love it. And now I have that song, Who Run the World? Okay, all right, you guys. I want to do what I want to call my speedy show recap. <laughs> okay, so today we talked about work-life harmony and how to get some new enrollments inside your studio. Oh my gosh, we've got the 100K workshop where you can start your own mobile program. We can leverage Facebook groups and we can use them without becoming salesy weirdos. Oh my gosh, y'all, so good. Today was so good. Thank you, thank you, thank you for hanging out with me today. We will absolutely get you those show notes if you type Ninja in the comments. Let me know if you have questions about the 100K workshop that's happening in Orlando. Um, I'm here to answer any of those for you. We'll be coming on next week live, same time, same place. I am going to be having my guest, Michelle. She is a director of one of the preschools that we um, serve, and she's going to be giving you some insight on what her thought process is when she's looking at having vendors come in to her to her center of them and so it's really great to have her, her perspective um which helps us know okay how do we do this um so she's going to be coming on next week and i have some juicy little nuggets i've been working on over here for you so do not miss next week same time for the Aaron bird show live thank you so much friends and happy dancing bye y'all